um, so I'm the middle child in my family, and um, Can you get the microphone, dude? Okay. So I'm the middle child, and being the middle child, it's um, it's like I'm invisible. I I even think my mom thinks uh, the house is haunted sometimes when I'm when I'm moving around, but. The only thing that's haunted about my house is that it's buried under the remnants of a well-adjusted family. Um, yeah, my family, they're pretty crazy. Um, I sometimes uh, like to give a seminar about how crazy my family is. So, um, so one sign that you can tell that your fr your family is crazy is if your um, if your dad suggests that he should give his urine to his bro to your brother so he can get a job. Um, you know, most most fathers like to like to have a good like to teach a good work ethic. So um, I guess my dad. Went uh, went another way, um, and finally the last the last sign you can tell that your your family is crazy is um, when your mom threatens to stab your dad with a turkey carving knife on Thanksgiving. Um, and fun little fact: if you're wondering who works. On Thanksgiving, I can tell you for certain that the paramedics do. Um, so, so I'm, um, so I started doing stand-up comedy because because I was tired of people making making fun of me. So I decided to make up jokes so I could so I could uh, make fun of them instead. Um, and, uh, you know, I was really shy. I never, I never played with any of the other kids. Um, and, you know, I stayed to myself. So, and later on, later on that got diagnosed as anxiety. So, um, so, so then I, I was like, oh, that explains um, elementary school, high school, and, uh, and my life up until now. <laughs> so, so anxiety is also a disorder. I wish, I, I wish anxiety could work like, like showing a note to your teacher so when you get sick. So instead of showing your teacher, I would show I would show it to all the girls that I got rejected from from in in school. I don't I don't want to so they so they'd be like um, I don't want to go on I don't want to go on a date with you and I would just pull out, help pull out the note and I'd be like oh wait 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 I I have anxiety and um, and then they'd be like oh oh that explains why things are so awkward. <laughs> Um, so, so I've done a lot of research um, on interesting facts. One, one being about in the Caribbean they have this um, this animal called the parrotfish, and um, so I don't bore you with all the science facts. What this um, this fish does is it eat, eats coral, and then it poops it out. And that ha that leads to the creation of small small islands. I know, I, and that got me th thinking because I know that God is um, like this all powerful person, but he has to get a little a little tired of um, of the Caribbeans, the Caribbean, sorry, constantly asking for um, for islands. I mean, the prime example the. The Caribbean has seven thousand islands, so um, so I have to think that after the a thousand island, God is like, God has enough, and He's like, okay. So um, 
So Caribbeans, if you want any more islands, um, you're going to have to get some prune juice because the only way you're going to get it is um, pulling it out of his ass. Um, okay, that's it. Thanks. <laughs>